Now, GHK copper is 18.7% copper, which then compounds with dietary copper that you're consuming. This is a peptide that you run for months, maybe indefinitely if it works. Now, where my individual risk to rewards analysis comes into play is regarding copper toxicity, because the upper tolerable limit of copper intake for men is 10 milligrams per day. So I had to do a little bit of analysis. How much copper does copper GHK actually contain? Calculation based on the molecular weight of copper against the entire peptide and came up with 18 0.7%. Now, based on my dietary intake being three to four milligrams of copper, I'm allowed an additional six milligrams of copper on top from an injectable source. If I were to inject 33 milligrams of GHK copper, I would reach six milligrams of copper per day. Now, that's a very high dose. I have no intention to run 33 milligrams of GHK copper, but based on my individual risk assessment, I wanted to see what the upper threshold was going to be. I know that I will never reach close to the upper tolerable limit of copper, 